hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x cubed divided by x square is equals to 0 and we solve this problem for the values of x so here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will check that which of the roots are satisfied of the given equation or which one of the roots are solution and which one of the roots are extraneous root of the given equation so uh, here in order to check uh, we solve this problem for two methods and i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now here in the first method uh, we just use this nice square uh, exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m minus n so this means that uh, we if you have m and n exponents then we move the smaller exponent towards the bigger exponent so in the same uh, case you see here the exponent of these two terms are 3 and 2 so we move this 2 towards 3 and it will be written as x to the power of 3 minus 2 is equals to 0 and now further in the next step we have this is x to the power of 3 minus 2 and 3 minus 2 becomes here 1 is equals to 0 so here we easily get the value of x is equals to 0 so here you see that we have only one root of the given equation which is x is equals to 0 and now we check that is this root is the solution or is this root be the extraneous root so for a verification of the root we need to copy down given question statement here it is x cubed divided by x square is equals to zero this is the our given question statement and we uh, just substitute the value of x is equals to 0 into the left hand side and after substituting this it will be written as 0 cubed divided by 0 squared equals to 0 and here we know about that 0 cubed becomes 0 and 0 square is also becomes 0 and this is equals to 0 and now further in the next step we need to focus into the left hand side and left hand side we have this is the 0 by 0 form so usually 0 by 0 form is called the uh, indeterminate form okay this is the indeterminate form or in other words we just say that this is the undefined form so if 0 by 0 is undefined form this means that the value of x equals to 0 is not satisfied this question statement so uh, we conclude that x is equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation so uh, if x is equal to 0 be the extraneous root and we cannot find any value of x so this means that the given equation has no solution because we cannot get any value of x here so uh, from first method we easily conclude that our given question statement has no solution and now further we again solve this problem for second method and now here in second method we need to copy down given question statement here so that the given question statement is x cubed divided by x is equals to zero so here uh, here i can just use the different technique to find the value of x and the verification part uh, could be same on both of these methods okay so here uh, we focus into the right hand side and you see here the denominator of this term is one and now here we need to cross multiply the terms and we will multiply one with x cubed is equals to zero with x so here you easily get uh, x cubed is equals to 0 okay now here in the next step we have this is x cube is equals to 0 but we find the value of x here so in order to find the value of x we need to take the cube root on both of the sides 
so when we will take cube root it will be written as in this form this is cube root of 0 so here you see that this 3 and this 3 are gone and we will get here x is equals to the cube root of 0 is equals to 0 so here in the second method we easily get the value of x is equals to 0 this is the one root which we get here from second method similarly in the first method we also get here the one root and uh, also in first method we uh, verify uh, the root x equals to 0 and we will say that we will see that x equals to 0 is not satisfied our given question statement so x equals to 0 with extraneous root and our final conclusion is that this question has no solution so this is the, our final answer and i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos